Hi, my name is Vandana Chohan and I'm the host for Set to Succeed. Six individuals this year are going to get a chance to change their lifestyle to become healthy. It's not about growing thin, it's not about becoming fatter, it's basically to become healthy. So this is going to be a journey of six individuals where they get a chance to make that change and become successful. A healthy lifestyle always takes some time to adjust. Everybody is busy, people want to change, but it takes a lot of motivation to get there. It doesn't take three months, it doesn't take six months. That's why we're giving all contestants a whole year to change. The King Sports Gym and Spa has provided a whole year membership for the contestants. Zen Cycling has provided the spinning experience for a year. Outdoor Fitness will be providing Zumba classes for a whole year. As you can see, there's so much that they will be given to make this journey absolutely successful with Set to Succeed. At the tavern with a cup of delicious coffee with none other than Trushar Ketia right here. And he's one person who actually has been a very busy person and always is ordering for coffee all the time. That's a? Mocha. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, this is one of the things that he's always doing. He's always eating. <laughs> he's always busy in meetings. And that's the reason why he's on set to succeed with us today. Um, so welcome. Thank you, Vanna. It's, it's good to know that uh, you are on board with us as a contestant. And uh, obviously, he has been in uh, Forbes 30 under 30, uh, which is success, of course. But then again, when it comes to losing weight, <laughs> it's a whole different story, right? That's why I'm here. Okay, so let me ask you, um, what is your lifestyle like right now? How does it usually go? Um, so first of all, thank you for having me on this show. Uh, happy. <laughs> I think I really needed this challenge and um, I think for me the lifestyle is a bit crazy because I'm always traveling, I'm always on the move. Okay. So meal times are, I could be having dinners at 10, 10.30 at night, sometimes I'd go without lunch. So, so How do you survive? I just eat when I feel hungry, like if I remember to eat, that's because of work. So, and because I'm always on the move, it's, it's been an issue. And then if, if I'm out traveling, then I'm eating junk. And, and yeah, you can tell the junk's on my face, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, so let me ask you, when did you get into this, um, you know, gaining weight process? Like, how, how, when did it happen or when did you let go? You no, know, so I've, I've even got a, uh, when when time allowed, I used to go to the gym, and then when my schedule got really crazy, especially because of my supermarkets, because I've got six stores all over the country. So especially because of the traveling, then I have to stay over a night or two at, at at the at the at the place that Basically. I travel to. Mm -hmm. So it just meant like going to the gym was was really difficult, and and I ended up coming back home very late. So I even decided to bring the gym home. So I've got a basic. I've got a treadmill and a basic uh, free weights bench at home. Okay. But still, I'm not managing to 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 do that. I think that is a talent on its own. <laughs> He's got it, at <laughs> but he no. hasn't managed. That no, is I, I just think I, I need to. You know the amount of focus I'm giving. Look, this year, this 2017. Right. I've decided it's more about me and my health and well-being. So much on the business that I think it's time for me to now look at myself. Um, right. And I always love challenges. So for me, it was More making this. This is a challenge. I, I have a feeling that you're the successful person who cannot have things go wrong at all. Are you yeah. a control freak? Does it happen? No, no on, not on everything. Okay. On the big things that matter. Perfection. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If I take on something, I'd want to make sure. I get it right 100%. Otherwise, I don't do it at all. Okay, so that's a good thing. We've got him to be healthy with us or else he'll be leaving his will to me, just maybe. Sure. But uh, no, no, we don't let that happen. We'll make sure that you will be here with us on set to succeed. Uh, apart from that, what I would want to ask you is about your food. What is the one thing, no matter what, you cannot give up on? Like the most delicious thing that you love? I'd have to choose between pizza and chips. Uh, Who's the lucky winner? I don't know. It's hard. Uh, ah, shit. Okay, let me let me pizza. make it easier. Pizza. Pizza. It'll be hard to give a pizza. 
But pizza, okay, I, I would say I'm not the nutritionist here. We have a nutritionist who's going to help us. But obviously, um, I know that pizza is healthy. It really does depend on how much you eat. How many times do you eat a pizza in a day? No, once once in a week. But I think actually I have, I have more chips than pizza. <laughs> and I so think did that's you ever more. go to Gutundus? Yeah, I, favorite place. Yeah. yeah, favorite place. So that's the habit you picked up from there. Yeah, I think I, I think ch chips is the first thing I need to give up. <laughs> chips is the first thing. So I will correct him. Uh, when it comes to your nutrition, you don't have to give up anything. Actually, it's it's really about what you eat and how much you eat. And how many times you eat, of course, it depends on whether you're working out or not working out or just sitting and eating chips every day, at every meeting, at every person's place. You know what I'm Let's saying? Let's see what the nutritionist has for me. I have to ask you one question. What is it that um, you want to achieve as the final goal at the end of the year? Um, so the first, the first priority is obviously uh, losing weight. Okay. Uh, I wonder how many kilos I must be, 70, really? eight. Okay. I need to get up to 70, 70, 72. Mm -hmm. yeah. we'll, we'll figure out the real weight, so don't you worry. <laughs> I'm guessing it's 78. Uh -huh. um, so the first is to lose weight. Okay. Um, which I know uh, with very strict discipline and, and diet and exercise, we'll get there very quickly. Of course. Then after that, so say my thinking is first three months losing weight. Mm -hmm. The remaining nine months is to like really turn up and get into good shape. Right. So by end of next year, uh, I want to have a, a body that at least you're proud to go to coast or to the beach with, right? So are you aiming for a six pack? Because when you have a goal, you have to be like, this is what I want. Do you want a flat stomach? Do you want a four pack, two pack, no, no pack? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> counting any packs. I'm not okay. counting any packs. <laughs> no packs. <laughs> Look, which, if any packs develop, great, no. By December 2017, right. I want to have a well-toned body, good physique, and and I'm also doing this for my health. You know, yeah. I just I, I just need that uh, focus. Yeah, I just need that focus and stability in terms of the just exercise diet, and it's for my health. You know, and this will help bring back more focus into my business. So I'd also want to ask you: Had you ever been to the gym before? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, And then it didn't work out. You gave up or how did Just you timing. So that's timing. why, yeah, yeah. Timing was an issue. Uh-huh. Uh, I think I, I need some, uh, for me, I need... Motivation? I need, yeah, mo in terms of, I need to be surrounded by other people. Yeah, I need the motivators. I need to be trained. I, I just need to have other people around. But what one question I want to ask you, okay? Different people have it in a different way. What is it that you cannot do because you have this weight with you? For example, maybe running. Some people can't run too fast, can't do things. What is that one thing you cannot do at this point that you'd want to achieve at the end of this year? Um, you don't have to be a no, I think No, I think getting back to football. I used to play football back in mm -hmm. high school. Okay. And it's something I still love. Okay, who do you support? Manchester United, okay. of course. Man U fans. <laughs> okay. So, 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 I, I really, I think, right now, I'd be really unfit to play football in okay. terms of, especially, because uh, I'm not doing cardio regularly. Mm -hmm. um, so, because of that, I know I would not be able to perform well on the field. So, one thing I would love is if I increase my fitness levels. Right. I would love to be able to go back out and play football. and play football. Yeah. To the. Okay. To to a good standard, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, that's, that's good. the one thing I think. I'll be the goalie. <laughs> that's hard. But that's not my aim. But it's good to know that uh, there's something that you want to achieve. So this is going to be a fantastic um, journey, obviously, for a whole year. Uh, looking forward to having you on board and seeing how um, this, how well this will be. It's all about having fun. It's a lifestyle change with set to succeed. Thank you. Thank you.